welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. I am your host, Patrick, and today what I wanted to do was do a video on Rex 4 Texture Direct. I will show what uh, I have for my settings and uh, a few tricks you can do to, to get the proper settings for the airport that you want. Now, I previously covered this in another video um, where I, I was going over my 2016 hardware and software settings, and I briefly covered Rex 4, so I'm going to go into more depth about it right now. So... Um, I'll start from the beginning again. Uh, this is what I covered in the uh, other video. Um, my settings here, which uh, have not changed, I still do 2048 for the low-level clouds, and I have the high and mid-level maxed out at 2048, and these two at 4K. And um, the rest of this is uh, irrelevant to what you need to know, but um, let's go into the clouds, which is the first one to cover. For this... I usually will use number 12. I also like number 9. But it's up to you. Uh, it depends what kind of clouds you like. This whole program is, is totally up to you and your own personal preferences. This is just what I do. Now, number 12 is what I like to use for that, for my high mid-level. For the low level, I like to go into the soft clouds. If you have soft clouds, I recommend using those. Those look the best when you fly through them. They um, just fade by better, and uh, they're just all around better than the other ones, in my opinion. I like to use, I believe it is, number 32. I, I enjoy using this one. I also like number 29. That one looks pretty good, too. I like the edges of the clouds to be somewhat soft, and um, I think that's what gives them the most realism, and that's what I like. And for the lightning effects, or lighting and effects, I should have said, um, for this one, I am using, not these, I think I'm using the dual strike right now, but it depends, you know, it doesn't, this uh, doesn't happen too often, the lightning's usually in the distance, so yeah, I don't get to see too much of it, it doesn't look as good as it does in the picture, but yeah. That's what I use. Don't see too much of that anyway, so that's okay. Um, for the sky colors, this really depends on where I'm flying. If I am flying over a desert, I will do one of these desert themes. Um, we're under the dawn section right now. Um, if I'm over the ocean, I'll do uh, an ocean or sea theme. You know, just, just pretty much wherever you're flying, go in here and pick one of those that, you know, mountain range, you know, no-brainer. If you're around mountains, pick pick one of those if you like it. For the uh, day, it's the same thing. I, I'd really do the same thing. Um, uh, winter, this is a good one to use all around for winter if you're flying over the ocean, ocean view. Same thing, you know, just, just, uh, these aren't too different. Oh, also, um, you get down here, polluted environment, that's really cool to use for Los Angeles, cities like that, that kind of have heavy pollution. I would, I would use one of those for the, uh, dusk. Same thing. I mean, I, I'll, I'll just be repeating myself, but yeah, it just really depends where you're flying to, to pick one of these. I, I don't always use the same one. I, I switch them up a lot. For the sun effects, right now I'm using number one. I think number one looks the best. Uh, number nine looks pretty good too, and number 11, I don't really like uh, this these these ones, but yeah, number one doesn't really matter too much. For the water and the waves, for the global water, I think I'm down here at number, let's see where I'm at. I believe I am using number 16. Because I don't like the water too dark, and, um, yeah, some of these are, it's pretty dark. But, yeah, I kind of like the brighter one for the water. For the wave animation, this also depends. If I'm just flying around a city, and you have rivers and things like that, I think I'll use a number three, a number four. If I'm way out in the ocean, I like the clashing waves uh, animation. That one's pretty cool. And, um, yeah. That's that. For airports, the airport lighting, um, I'm not even sure which one I'm using for these, but you have to be careful when you use these because sometimes it will put the lights um, above the ground. 
so when you're going down the runway or the taxiways, the lights will actually be hovering off the ground, and that doesn't look very good. Um, they do that to achieve the this little effect of the brightness, but um, I couldn't even tell you which one I'm using. I'm probably just on number one if any of them are installed. I just remember when I installed a few of them a while ago, they were above the ground, and I didn't like that at all. And, uh, yeah, so let's get on to the signage. Airport signage. Um, I have this installed. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't want it installed. It's uh, much more realistic than the default um, signs that come in the game. So I have that installed. For the jetway marks, I do have that installed. Parking marks, same thing. It's installed. Surface, surf like that. that is installed as well. And this one, I like to use the freshly cut grass with the lines across it. It looks pretty cool when you when you come in for landing. Otherwise just another concrete one. So yeah, fresh you cut grass. And that's it for that. Now to the runways and taxiways. This really depends on what airport I'm landing at. And I'll show you what I do. For instance, if I'm going to land in Seattle what I'll do is I'll pull up the airport on Google Maps and some airports Google took a really amazing photo of that you can really zoom in on and see so if you see they're using this tile kind of concrete runway and it's pretty worn as far as uh, all the uh, tire marks the paint looks pretty good paint looks fresh and then for the taxiways, they're also using this tile pattern. And the paint looks pretty new over here, too. So just knowing those things, I would go into Rex. And knowing it's a concrete runway, um, I believe if you go down here, they have the tile pattern. So I know I passed it, but I'm trying to see if there's a better one. No, that must be the one. Right, so I don't like using the um, the light use runways. It doesn't look very good. Maybe I'll add a smaller airport where not a lot of people are coming in. It will look good, but for any international airport, you really should be using the heavy use. It looks more realistic. But yeah, I would be using this runway because it has these square tiles. So that's what I would pick for Seattle. And then for the um, taxiway, they also have a similar pattern that you can pull up and that would be I would use this one right here there is might be a couple other square ones too I'm not sure but that's what I would use for that but yeah it really depends on on where you're flying you just just go on Google Maps and, and see what you can do check it out uh, for Seattle I would probably use either this one or the worn runway because that's kinda what it looks like on the on the maps right now it's um... looks like they just painted it same thing with the um... where is it the taxi taxiway marks if i was going to do seattle i would load up this one because the paint looks really clean in seattle other airports you might want to use these it depends. Now, for the sound, this is whatever you like. I'm not going to go into this. Just whatever you think sounds good. Now, one more thing you can do. If you want to load in the settings for a particular airport, you can actually type in, by default it has Phoenix, but let's type in Seattle and you hit submit and then generate and what it'll do is it'll generate I don't want to install it but what it'll do is it'll pull up the weather for you and then it will generate what it thinks um, you should use for Seattle so it, it puts in the proper runway the taxiways the asphalt the, the way the sky should be now, I don't know how accurate these actually are to the airport, but it's nice that it does this. So this is one thing you could do 
um, if you want Rex to, you know, do the themes for you. And actually, it's it's probably a lot easier than than going through and picking each one. It, it gives you a good start. So you can load these in and then switch out a few if they're not accurate or you don't like it. Because right now it looks like I can't tell. It's not zoomed in enough, but concrete runway heavy, which is number seven. Let's see what that is. Concrete runway number seven. Yeah, I don't think that's what Seattle's actually using. Um, if you like, we saw it's actually using this one with these tiles, but it's a start. It's still a start. Like I said, you could just load it in and switch out a few of these. But um, yeah, guys, I think that does it for um, Rex Four. Uh, I just wanted to do you know a quick little video about that and show you what I do and um, maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. I don't know. But hey, thanks for watching anyways. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you in the comments. All right, you guys take care. Happy flights. Happy simming. Take it easy. Bye.